you ask me to tell about the, the grain story. All right. So C.B. Glasscock wrote a biography of Lucky Baldwin. It was published in the mid-1930s. And he collected little anecdotes from contemporary, the contemporaries of Baldwin's in the business world. It happened that my mother's grandfather, Keller, was one of those who contributed an anecdote or comment. His comment was this, I believe I'm the only man who ever collected a debt from Jack Lucky Baldwin without a court order. And there is some explanation in the book itself, but I asked my grandfather, and his version of the story was this. Baldwin had owed, had owed his father quite a while for something he purchased because he had a milling company, he had the Globe Mills in Los Angeles. Baldwin probably purchased flour or grain products for his store at Santa Anita and didn't pay the bill, which was not unusual because my mother's other grandfather had the Pasadena Milling Company in Pasadena, which also supplied Baldwin's store. He didn't pay my other great-grandfather either. In fact, one time, my great-grandfather sent my grandmother's older brother George out on horseback to try to dun Baldwin in person. I don't think it worked. Anyway, my grandfather's story was this. My great-grandfather got word that Baldwin had a bumper crop of some kind of grain, maybe barley, oh, something like that. So much so that he exceeded the capacity of his own warehouses to store it. So my great-grandfather had an idea. He contacted Baldwin and he said, currently I'm in control of a warehouse that's not being used or not being used to capacity. Would you be interested in taking advantage of the empty warehouse? And of course, Baldwin was hot to trot. So they loaded the warehouse with grain, barley, whatever it was. And then my great-grandfather changed the padlock on the warehouse and sent Baldwin another bill. And he wrote on the face of it, paid in full. And Baldwin, First of all, I think he was mad, and then he probably laughed because it was exactly the kind of trick he would have pulled. And I don't think his business manager was very happy either, but they let it go because, yeah, he was due, my great-grandfather was due the money, and that's how he collected it. <laughs>